Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel Biology Reader. In this video session, we will take a brief introduction about malaria and discuss the life cycle of plasmodium to better understand the malaria disease cycle or pathophysiology. So friends, let's get started. Let us discuss what is malaria. Starting with the meaning, malaria is an infection caused by a protozoan parasite of the genus plasmodium. Plasmodium falciparum, plasmodium vivax, plasmodium ovale and plasmodium malaria are the causative agents that can induce malaria infection in humans. Among these, plasmodium falciparum is more deadly or life-threatening. Friends, we know that the mosquito bite is a root cause of malaria. Female Anopheles mosquitoes are the carriers of the plasmodium parasites and they transfer or disseminate malaria in humans during a blood meal. So friends, it must be clear that the mosquitoes do not cause malaria. But being a carrier or vector of plasmodium parasite, they just spread malaria from one person to other. The incubation period of malaria is generally 10 to 15 days after the bite of an infected mosquito. The incubation period varies in different plasmodium species. The initial symptoms of malaria include fever, shaking chills, headache, nausea and body pain. But in case the malaria is left untreated, the infection leads to cause kidney failure, mental confusion, blood infection and sometimes death. Malaria can be diagnosed by the microscopic examination of the patient's blood and through rapid diagnostic tests for malaria. Malaria is generally curable and the infection can be treated by the use of anti-malarial drugs prescribed by the doctor. Now we will talk about plasmodium. This is the classification of the genus plasmodium. We have already discussed the plasmodium species that cause malaria in humans. Friends, plasmodium species are unicellular. They behave as endoparasites because they reside within the host cell. Plasmodium species generally require two hosts to complete their life cycle. Mosquito is the definitive or primary host of the plasmodium parasite where it undergoes sexual life cycle. Whereas humans and other vertebrates are the intermediate or secondary host of the plasmodium parasite where it completes its asexual life cycle. Therefore, the plasmodium species have a digenetic life cycle. Let us discuss the asexual life cycle of the plasmodium. First step is the stage of infection. Only the infected female mosquitoes of the genus Anopheles transmit the malaria parasite into the body of humans and other vertebrates during a blood meal. Here a question may come into your mind that why only female Anopheles mosquitoes? So the answer is that the adult female Anopheles mosquitoes need the protein in the blood to develop their eggs. So the infected female mosquitoes carry the sporozoids or spores of the plasmodium in their salivary gland. As a result, the sporozoids enter the bloodstream of the human through the mosquito bite. Then comes the pre-erythrocytic cytogony or the infection phase of the liver cell. During this stage, the sporozoids first infect the liver cells or hepatic cells by invading the essential components. Later, sporozoids convert into schizon and attain a large size. Then a schizon divides to increase its number and form cryptozoids. Cryptozoids transform into cryptomerozoids after successive divisions. Ultimately, the liver cell laden with numerous cryptomerozoids will burst out and the cryptomerozoids release out from the liver cells. Third stage is the exoerythrocytic schizogony or the stage before RBC infection. Here, the cryptomerozoids again penetrate the wall of new liver cells and follow the same pathway to develop metacryptomerozoids and eventually the liver cells will burst out to release metacryptomerozoids into the bloodstream. Fourth stage is the erythrocytic cytogony or the stage of RBC infection. The macrometacryptozoids will again infect the liver cells while the micrometacryptozoids will now infect the RBCs. Micrometacryptozoids first penetrate the wall of RBCs and utilize the content of RBCs like hemoglobin to form a structure called trophozoid. A trophozoid goes through several morphological changes. First, a signet ring forms where a trophozoid attains a large size with a large non-contractile vacuole in between. Then the wall of trophozoid becomes irregular resulting in the amoeboid stage. During the amoeboid stage, the hemoglobin completely converts into hematin and globin. Then a trophozoid differentiates into erythrocytic cytogon that undergoes cell divisions to produce a large number of merozoids. 
At last, a roseate stage appears in which the merozoids shift towards the RBC's periphery and ruptures the RBC wall. The merozoids in the bloodstream may either infect new RBCs or they may differentiate into gametocytes, namely microgametocyte and macrogametocyte. The gametocytes remain in the bloodstream of an infected person. We will end up this video by discussing the sexual life cycle of the plasmodium. It starts with the gametogenesis and fertilization. When a female Anopheles mosquito sucks the blood of a person infected with malaria, the gametocytes enter the midgut of the mosquito. There, the macrogametocyte differentiates into a female gamete or macrogamete that eventually transform into a receptive cone, whereas the microgametocyte differentiates into 6 to 8 flagella like microgametes through X flagellation. The motile microgamete freely move in the stomach and fuse with the non motile macrogamete. The fertilization between male and female gamete forms a spherical zygote and after several hours a zygote differentiates into an okinete stage. Then okinete reaches the midgut epithelium through gliding motility. There it penetrates the peritrophic matrix and encysts into an oocyst in the midgut basal lamina. Oocyst grows in size and undergoes multiple cellular divisions to form a large population of sporozoids. Eventually the wall of oocyst structures and the sporozoite finds its way to enter the salivary gland of the female Anopheles mosquito. A new infection cycle begins when the infected female Anopheles mosquito injects the saliva laden with infectious sporozoids into a healthy man during a blood meal. So friends, this is all for today. To know this topic more in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. If you find this lesson useful, do like, comment, share. And subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.